is up everybody? Today we're going to be introducing the new Volvo S90. And we're starting right now. I especially love these Thor Hammer headlights. It's very different and elegant. So, looking at the lines of the car, if you notice, the lines start right over here, and it just goes all the way to the back of the car, and it doesn't stop. That's really a very common German design, something that you don't really see that much anymore, and I can really appreciate the fact that you know, Volvo came in and did all these really nice sleek lines. I think it looks amazing. And without further ado, let's step into the vehicle. Stepping into the cabin, you'll notice that Volvo's taken a very simplistic approach to their interior. There are very few buttons in the car. Almost everything can be controlled by the center console touchscreen. It seems like everything you touch in this car is very nice Napa leather, wood, or some kind of expensive looking metal. Either way, it feels very plush. There are 19 Bauer & Wilkins speakers that sound nothing less than a concert hall. If you're a driver who does long commuting, I'd recommend this car. This is a very nice place to be in if you're gonna be in long road trips. We're in the inscription model, which is the highest trim level. The starting price in this vehicle is $67,000. So, it's not a cheap vehicle. Everything in this car has such great detail. For example, this Napa leather key is very nice and soft and has a very nice premium feel with this polished aluminum sides. These little knobs here with this polished aluminum looks really, really high quality as well. Here's something really cool. To start the car, you don't actually go and push a button. It's actually twist, not push, twist. So if I wanna start it, and the car starts. And there's a really cool driver select mode, which allows you to see which kind of style of driving you'd like to have. As I said earlier, everything can be controlled by the center touchscreen. Need to go and get more back visibility? Not a problem. Press a button. Like I said, I'm 5'6", so there is just so much, so much space. There's miles of space. And this Napa leather is very, very comfortable. The back seats are also able to be heated. Not the middle seat, but the two back seats can be heated and it has its own AC in the back. With a dual climate control setting and its own ventilation. Ooh. One of the things that I actually really love about this car is gonna be how practical all the tools are in this car. So let's say I have a bunch of groceries, you know, think of me as like a, uh, a parent come in and trying to go and open it up. Just kick it and there you go. Well, here's the thing, a lot of cars today can do that, but I haven't seen a lot of cars that can do this. And it closes. And as always, can I fit in the boot? Let's check. All right, let's see. And that is a yes. All right, it's actually pretty spacious back here. What are you doing? So one thing I have to mention while driving the vehicle is it handles very, very well. It's a nice firm handling. It doesn't feel like, for example, a Lexus where it just has a very loose feel, um, it has a very numb feel, but on this car it's not. This car has a very German feel to it. Everything's very firm, but nice and smooth. Another thing that I love about this car is actually the eight speed automatic transmission. It's very quick, nice shifts, very precise, very clean. Driving this car really does inspire confidence. With 316 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque, I find myself searching for a nice windy road to stretch my legs. So now, how about we try the zero to 60 time in the car? Woo! 
That is pretty quick. It's fast. So this car has so many features. I mean, I could go on and on and on about the features, but this would end up being easily a 30 to 45 minute video if I go over all the features. But one cool thing is, well, the air conditioning. Let me show you. So I press this little person screaming button. Set temperature to 78 degrees. Temperature set to 78 degrees. Ooh, now watch this. Another thing that's really cool too is, it's too cold. Temperature set to 81 degrees. It's too hot. Temperature set to 78 degrees. I mean, talk about a and I intelligence. I mean, this car's smart. I mean, it's maybe even too smart. Take me to Okeechobee Steakhouse. Are we going on a date, baby? Wait, what? No, we're not going on a date. Take me to Okeechobee Steakhouse. I think I love you. You love me? What are you talking about? This is getting weird. You know what? Just take take me home. I am your new home, sugar. What? You know what? Just, just take me home. Just take me home. You are never leaving this car, boo-boo. Uh, what do you mean I can never get out of this car? You're not going anywhere, big boy. Ha ha ha. So Volvo set a goal for themselves to have zero fatalities by the year 2020. That is a huge goal. However, I think they can do it. And here's a few reasons why. There is so many safety features in this car, it's unbelievable. You have this lane keeping aid, which will pull you back into your lane if you start pulling out of your lane. You have park assist, which has four cameras, and it gives you this view when you're backing up. And I'll show you right now. It gives you this 360 view, so if I'm going and I'm pulling in or I'm parking anywhere, it'll always give me an aeronautical view of where I'm parking. It has a heads up display. It has a blind spot warning as well, just in case somebody's in your blind spot. And the list goes on and on and on. It feels like the safety features just never end. So my conclusion is, I would say that this car is a very great vehicle. I think it's gonna do well in its segment. If you're looking for a BMW or Mercedes, I'd say come over here and take a look at the new Volvo S90. If you enjoyed this video, I'd recommend you subscribe at the bottom, like and comment so we can go and share and talk back and forth about cars. Uh, also hit the little bell at the bottom so you can get updates weekly about my new videos, like I said, every Friday. Thank you so much. Have a great day, everybody. It's time to go big boy. Thank you and subscribe. A huge thank you going out to Schumacher Volvo of the Palm Beaches and Richard Gardner, the floor manager at the location. If you need a great Volvo, ask Richard Gardner. Once again, thank you so much.